And just like that, I finish Spyro's Hero's Tale. The story was so corny, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I don't know if I finished the game correctly, but yep, that was ending. That, yep, that happened. I don't know. That's crazy. Here, today I'm going to be doing my, I guess, series of games that I finished review, which is, you know, reviewing or having a retrospective thoughts of you know these different retro games that i've seen in the past and i finished them here in present day so pretty much one of those games is spyro a hero's tale i'm not sure if i reviewed enter the dragonfly and also i know for a fact that i did review the trilogy series in the ps1 where i finished all of them bad boys and let me tell you it was <laughs> still to this day the best the the best ever okay my childhood was completely filled at least the childhood you know in me and you know pretty much i never really touched hero's tale man i touch almost every single spiral game um except for hero's tale it's just one of those games where i just didn't really think about it because while well, i was too busy with enter the dragonfly and mind you when you're a kid or at least in my age or just like when when you're like you know, a baby or something like that. No way I was going to finish any freaking game. I mean, I say that as I finished Tony Hawk, Pro Skater, and Sly Cooper. Man, I finished all those Sly Coopers. Oh, my God. When I was a kid or something. But not a lot of games like this that I finished. I feel like there's only a, only a handful of them that I did finish. And this is just one of them where I didn't even touch. And I just happened to finish it. So here I am talking about it. I mean, I'm still in the process of doing collectibles in the game, but I love Spyro. I always pretty much have a good handle when it comes to the Spyro games like this. It's kind of like one of my nighttime, like, you know, pastimes to, to enjoy and settle down and play a Spyro game. And I guess A Hero's Tell, though it's not the best one, I mean, it's better than Dragonfly, that's for sure. Enter the Dragonfly, like, like I, I feel like there's a part of me where it's point, like pointless. And also, I don't know what it is, but it felt like, you know, this was when the company was trying their best to get their, you know, like they're, they're, they're trying, they're dipping in the waters and on their toes. Is that, is that the right saying? Like toe dipping at first length of, you know, the waters or damn, what am I saying right now? They're just trying to get their feet wet of just like how to work stuff within, you know, the new consoles during that time from PS1 to PS2. And I guess Dragonfly was kind of like one of those because it really d does felt like um, A Hero's Tale is a bit more like advanced than Dragonfly and of course way better. You know, I, I guarantee they probably... Like, whatever reviews at that time, whether it was magazines or something, because, I mean, YouTube was, you know, I don't even know if it existed when Hero's Tale was around. But this game itself happens to really be a bit better than Dragonfly, and maybe because of the criticisms from Dragonfly, they decided to actually, okay, well, let's just really, really work on this. And at first, when I heard of Dragonfly, I didn't know it was going to, like... I knew that I was going to play a whole bunch of characters, but I didn't know it was going to be like, you know, this, like I thought it was going to be, oh my God, this is the best thing ever of all time. And then when I finished it, I was left with like, yeah, it is the best, but I kind of feel like I wish there was more. I don't know what my criticism was of the game now thinking about it and not that I was manipulated to actually, you know, convince, to have a convincing review as I watch other reviews surrounding it, because a lot of them say like, yeah, it's mediocre. But to me, it's better, but it's also just missing some touches, that magic. And they try to really revitalize that at that time when making this game. And I just really, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I couldn't get the feeling of it because it almost feels like something, like if there was a new Spyro game, like right now, okay? Not counting the, you know, reunited remake, remaster whatever you may call it freaking like new series because i know that the ps1 trilogy had a remake you know a little like and that's kind of like the most recent spiral game ever or spiral games spiral remastered remade games but for this one it's the same equivalent of just like a game that was released right now 
compared to how it was released a few years ago and they remade it like for example the last of us series and they remade that and pretty much they try to make it better but it just doesn't feel like if like they're missing that magic when it was first released that kind of deal so that's what i feel like the same within spiral of heroes tell it's a good game and there is some rede redeeming qualities and there's a lot of like you know good playable characters returning characters if you're a fan of the series but overall there was just like some stuff that i feel like could have been you know added a bit more i wouldn't mind having them like put a bit more gigs but i don't even know what was the gig take during that time because especially playing this on a gamecube emulator like pretty much like it could be different from other systems but i played it on the gamecube and it, it, it's it pretty much blends in well to you know there was literally no problems and no shakeups in the game at all i had a fun time playing it and a very you know though it was a challenging you know game itself especially some of the waiting times when you're trying to wait for this platform to come to you and you you know there's a lot of figuring out of the game there's a lot of like moments where i'm like ah okay well i gotta look in the map and see where i really need to go or like oh what's the mission again you know i tend to get lost in myself to actually know what the heck am i, am I doing but it takes a good look around of the you know the levels to know where you go but it's like man that's it's not usually supposed to be like that. I never really had that in the PS1 games. And even though I was lost, I just know where to go because the levels and the gameplay or just the magic behind it was so redeeming. It was something about it. And this is kind of like in its prime of... Because when I was playing Spyro the Hero's Tale, there was something I noticed where I felt like Spyro like just sort of is getting older, like... It also was weird to hear Sparks talk and he sounds like an old guy. And I'm just like, man, these people just, I don't know what's going on, but why does Spyro in some ways sound older than me? <laughs> like, I, I don't understand. Like, Spyro just sounds like he's 30 already. Like, I'm just like, damn, okay, Spyro, you, you, you a man now. Um, doing like, what, what year is this? What's happening? <laughs> you know? And the same thing with Hunter. I'm like, are you 50 now? What the heck? Like, I don't know. Some of them just sound old. They just sound like they're they're at their mature age, in a sense. And and there, I, I wish there was, like, I, w I didn't see Bianca. I was hoping to see Bianca in any of this. And also, I was trying to understand who that freaking female dragon was. Like, we didn't get any, like, redeeming stories of her or how they met. Or, like, hi, my name is, you know, just... What is the Red Spyro doing there? You know what I mean? it's the, the characters just doesn't fit in. I feel like there could have been like a Hero's Tale 1, 2, 3, you know? But the, instead, it's just like everything's crammed in. And I felt like I was playing the second game when I could have played the first game. Which was definitely not Dragonfly. Because I never seen those characters at all in Dragonfly. I mean, I seen Hunter. I seen Sparks. But... Where did the freaking female dragon came from? Like, was that going to be someone that, you know, Spiral was going to be falling in love with or not? Is it going to be a, you know, you know, for those that watch Fairy Odd Parents, Timmy Turner and to uh, Cookie Tootsie? Man, it's been a, God, this is decades. I haven't watched Fairy Odd Parents in forever, in centuries at this point. But it's like, is it like that situation where you're, you know, ooh, cute. Ew, cuties, ew, girls, ew, that kind of thing. Is that what Spyro was trying to give? Because I know this was, the game was created during that time, okay? And nowadays, you know, these kids are just like, hmm, girls, you know, just stuff like that. You know, it's, it's different. It's, it's different. It's a different time. But man, I don't know, this, this game, it was fun. You know, good to see the, the penguin and pretty much a good take on the speedway levels. Those were a lot of fun. I like to shoot. I like the sparks, uh, like Firefox type levels that was a lot of fun and um, overall just the game just felt you know it felt good as a game itself a gameplay but as a story god i wish they did something with that i'm like what is the story what is up with these characters that's what it should work on is the characters what on earth am i listening to this like there was this one character in the lava level where she was just laughing the whole time and what is she like a laughing hyena or something but it was so hard to hear her it's like hey, 
out. Okay, we're going to go. There. You know, stuff like that. I was like, gosh, I can't. I don't want to hear you. <laughs> and there's some, you know, like, like what, what's up with Red? Like, I don't ever understand, like, any of these enemies, these boss battles. Cool, though. I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't. <laughs> I don't see like any redeeming like you know, especially for you know red i never understand like i wish he was a bit more of a better villain but you know this is probably a kid's game yeah there's some spots of it and i know it's not perfect you know i guarantee you if i played it as a kid i would say it's the best game ever if i was a kid as an adult it's still a good game it's just not piecing things right at least how I expect it to be, because the ending, not to spoil it, the ending is not there. It's, I was like, I seen this before. I seen Spyro's takes on this. I'm just like, are you kidding me? This has to be the worst ending. Like this, like that's just it? And now we're back to the collectibles? I don't know. <laughs> I wish there was, a, I, listen, with these new, like, you know, Stuff putting on, like, you know, pretty much with, you know, things of emulators and stuff like that. These GameCube games, Mario Sunshine, Melee, they have mods. I wish there was mods for Hero's Tale. I, that would be amazing. But there was never, like, a fandom big enough. Like, I never understand that. You know, you have, like, like Spyro being, if I got to be honest here with my other favorite series, Rayman, uh, being bigger than Rayman, but Rayman has a bunch of fan games, has a fan projects, mods, this and that. Sonic, of course, you know, being well known as known as within the fan game industry, there's like thousands of fan games, mods, and you know, just skins, you know, customization stuff like that from the internet. And the same thing with Mario. But I wish there was some for Spyro. I don't know if there is, but it seems like it's not really relevant or present compared to other counterparts within modding or anything like that and if there is i hope there is a mod or anything like that for hero's tale for dragonfly for even the ps1 games oh my god that would be sick can you imagine but again this is spyro is a treaty platforming like you know franchise there is platformers. There is the you know the ones in the Game Boys and stuff like that, but I kind of just wish that there was something within mods or fan games surrounding Spyro. You know, all the way until we wait for whatever freaking you know Toys for Bob is doing with Spyro. Okay, I'm not the A Canadian guy. You know, I only see his updates. You know, A Canadian A guy. You know that the YouTuber that actually you know talks about. Crash and Spyro, and I follow up on him. I've actually seen what is, you know, the creators or whoever owns Spyro's Crash uh, cooking up. And I hope they're cooking up something good because a lot of times I'm just waiting. But yeah, Hero's Tale, it was um, something. That's it. That's all I got to say. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe, like, comment, and all that jazz. That was just my thoughts. And it's not perfect or anything like that. I enjoy most of what this game has. All of the side levels, even though they're not good, I enjoy them all. Sparks, like, you know, Hunter, the freaking spiral in the ball and stuff like that. Characters were questionable, but it's okay. There is just, I feel like there could have been a bit more, but you know what? That's all I have to say. Other than that, maybe I might finish the game, but I'm definitely not going to talk about it anymore. And I think I heard something like, you know, there's no point of collecting the eggs. And man, there's a lot of levels where like it felt like, you know, collecting the eggs means something. But I guess not. I don't know. But on that, I'll see you when I see you. One of the bees. God bless.